السلام So guys, I'm in the process of trying to fix this computer monitor, which is a Dell. I just disassembled it. This is the socket board. I'm thinking it's most likely a swollen capacitor that is creating the issue. I have this monitor for a couple of years now. And I just decided to see if I can fix it. So, yeah. So guys, as I was saying, we do have a bulge capacitor there but it is not that bad because i've seen worse but i do believe that's the problem so guys i just scrap a old monitor that i had and i have the same part here so i am going to swap it over it doesn't look too bad at all but it's an old monitor but it's better than this one of course this one is swollen and it started to bust at the top so i'm gonna try and swap it over and see if i can get this thing fixed i was just about to buy a new one but then i just say you know what let me just try and fix it so yeah so this is the one i scrap well as you can see this one is banged up very very bang up look it's actually that bad so i took the motherboard out yeah so i'm gonna see if i can so guys um we're going to remove the capacitor right so i'm gonna put on some what you call it low melt solder it out 400 i think that's a little bit too hot but let's just see what we can do to get this out as quick as possible once it is heated up it should be out it should be out So let's see if we can get it out so we get it out we got it out had to yank it out i suggesting that you shot out this big 450 capacitor and i suggesting that you use a screwdriver or something with rubber so you shot it out by you know holding the two pins and any other big voltage capacitor you want to shot them out well this already shot it out for the time it was done i shot it out or you can get shock 
you can get electrocuted you can get a shock or something so um what i am going to do now i am going to i'm going to put this in so we're gonna follow the direction uh i think anyway yeah we got it in we got it in so yeah so what we're gonna do tip of this on it solder is solder right I think these probably doing a good job look at that so they're actually doing a great job soldering down the pins in place and this this capacitor will be easy to replace in the future because these circuit boards normally use very very strong soldering they normally use very strong solder on these boards it's like it take you forever to move them sometime unless you you you, you mix it with a low melt solder like what i did so guys we're already in So guys, we just replaced the capacitor. So now I'm going to put it back into the monitor. We are going to do a test. It was actually a bit of a fun taking this down because we don't have any SADA tutorials online to see how to take it apart or anything like that. But it was quite fun for us to take it apart. And it goes this way and it goes the, this wire goes this way this is for the button this is the wires for the button and we need to put back in the screws hold this in place then we need to connect these by the side and this to the top so guys i finished put back in the screws remember i told you guys this connecting right here where we have the buttons and then these will be connecting by the side so this will be going like this and then we have four screws by the side and also we have the data cable by the top we have some wires here that we need to connect back so i'm gonna do that now so guy i finished assembling the back part of the monitor all the wires are hooked up so guys i want to show you that the monitor is working and the fix was successful you can see that the screen is moving around and this will work for another few years and if something else goes bad something else happened to bulge i know what to do next time so guys i hope that this inspired you and it was helpful so i'm just gonna put back on those parts I wish I could have done this as a one tutorial, just sit and do everything and you seeing me taking down all the parts, but at least you get the idea. I do have a lot of other stuff to do, so I just try, I just try to do this today. So guys, the monitor is working, buttons and everything functional, so everything is working perfectly. As you can see, we were able to revive this monitor and it's just a capacitor.